This is video number two, but it might be put up as video number one. So, I don't know. Part one or part two, whatever this is, it will be titled or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So I've got all that like decorative radiator shroud and the alternator shroud. I'm going to be powder coating with some of the stuff that I have purchased I've got in my basement. Unfortunately, the oven is a little too small. So uh, until I get a bigger oven, um, right now I'm going to paint it. So I'll show you what I'm doing. This stuff here is going to wind up being a uh, metallic, like a pearl white color. And I got a really nice clear that I could lay over it. So I'm just going to take all these, all, all, all this plumbing off and uh, kind of plug some of the holes here, like the turbos right there. I got to put like a shop towel in there or something and uh, got to take this off so I can get the bottom bottom end of this out. This is coming out anyway, so uh, not a big deal. It's a good time to clean my air filter. This sucks just because like, well, it sucks. I'm not really going to explain why. It's not really that big of a deal, but I have to put an Allen key up here and on this side I have to put an Allen key at the bottom just because of the way it was mounting up when I originally put it on there. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I don't have a tripod and I'm sure you don't wanna watch me unscrew things for five minutes anyway, so. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna scuff all this stuff with 320 grit paper. Um, aggressive enough for the stuff to grab. Uh, not aggressive enough to where it leaves scratches so deep to where you're gonna notice them when you paint. So like this stuff here, 100 grit paper. So that's way too much. This is 320. Um, it's rough enough for sure to where everything is gonna stick just right. Okay, so this is the stuff I'm using. And this is the clear coat that I'm using. So this is like automotive grade type stuff. Um, there's a hardener in here. You bang the bottom with this little red part on the cap. And then this is a sample piece that I had sprayed yesterday. Um, it's only one coat, so I think it's kind of thin and it was over chrome. So it's not really, you know, a proper example, but I was going to kind of put this on here to see how the clear reacts to the product because I'm not sure that they work. I know I've, I've used this stuff on Rust-Oleum products before, and that's what this is. So uh, I think it'll work. I'm just not too sure. Uh, I was going to try it to see what happens, but under the drying time down in here, uh, it says apply a second coat within one hour or after 48 hours. So this I did last night and it hasn't been two days and it's been over an hour. So I don't want to, this, I mean, this will be considered another coat. So I don't want to do that yet. Um, basically I'm going to paint all the stuff and I'm going to see, uh, you know, see how it comes out after two coats. And then I'll, I'll, uh, based on that, you know what I'll do? I'll actually paint the other side of this, other side of this at the same time as I'm doing all the piping. And then I'll put the clear on this after, I don't know, 30 minutes, we'll say. So I'll do two coats on this, two coats on all that stuff, and after 30 minutes, I'll put a clear coat on this and see how it reacts, if it reacts fine. Um, and I'll give this like 15 minutes to dry, which will make that stuff only have been sitting for 45 minutes, which is still not an hour. If this reacts properly, I'll start clearing the other stuff. So here I've got some of this stuff, and I've got some frog tape. This stuff is kind of expensive, However, uh, it does, I've used it before and it does do a really good job. I mean, what they advertise here is like almost true. Um, I don't think blue tape is as bad as they're showing here, but it does, it does not actually always leave a sharp line. This stuff I used at home uh, a little while ago to paint. Um, so I'm gonna sand this with this all around. Uh, I think in these welds and like in here, I've got this right here, which I'll attach to a drill uh, just to make sure that I get those properly cleaned up so the stuff sticks to it okay everything is taped everything is wiped with acetone and then wiped again um so i'm gonna start painting and i hope this fan does a good job at pulling uh those paint particles in and out that door there um, at least it's not going to be in my face and i do have a respirator that i'll put on okay first coat is on there um this is one of the worst products i've ever used in my entire life I painted a lot of things. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm a professional and I, obviously I'm using a rattle can, right? So, I mean, this this stuff, it, it, it's it's a nice it's a nice looking product, but I can't, uh, I can't get anywhere. Uh, so, two cans, this head stopped spraying and this head stopped spraying. So I pulled them off and tried to use, I've got a couple of cans back there. So I tried to use one of Rust-Oleum's uh, like standard uh, tips and to put it on there 
but for some reason uh, the straw in this one is a little wider than the straw in a standard can so that went out the drain just started spraying everywhere and uh, the stuff is also super thin and very transparent so this is probably gonna need three coats um, and one can did one coat so it's a good thing I have three cans but I don't know if they're even gonna work because uh, I'm going to have to transfer uh, this head from the one from the one can that did work uh, to these cans for the next coat so I'm not, I mean I mean look how look how transparent this is and this I I, I, I laid on kind of thick because I didn't know why it wasn't covering um, so I guess uh, I'll come back for a second coat later but this stuff is garbage and I will never use it again this is the pro this is probably the best I'm gonna get on here I don't love it I don't absolutely hate it. My shirt's over my face right now so I don't breathe in any of the paint particles that are still floating around. The product is just not great. I feel like it could look really good, but I'm not sure. Um, I ran into paint, used three cans, one coat per can basically because it's so thin. Like the color is so, it's like transparent. So I'm having a little bit of running. You can't really see here, but there's a little bit of running going on because I couldn't really see what I was coating because it's so thin. Um, I mean, you can see at the bottom where all the paint settled. And I didn't really mean or intend to spray it that heavy, but I guess I did. So, and if this winds up melting due to, uh, you know, the engine heat, uh, I'm going to be pretty upset because <laughs> it's just a waste of time and money. So, okay, I just laid the first coat of clear on the sample piece here. Um, I laid it kind of heavy just to see what would happen. So um, I'm going to wait 15 minutes and check it out later. So it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, this doesn't seem to have reacted in any sort of way. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go for it. And if it gets messed up, well, then that's part of life. Okay, so all the intercooler piping is done and it's already been put back on the car. A um, couple of problems. So after 30 hours of drying down here, um, it still wasn't quite dry. It was hard. The stuff, it, I guess it wasn't hard, but um, hard for the most part. So what I did was I started to put everything back on and the couplers for the intercooler kit that I have are so tight um, that I really have to press to get the pipes to fit in properly. So uh, one side I left the fingerprint on and the other side left a mark from the coupler so there's like a nice straight line on basically the biggest pipe in the uh in the engine bay so um but those are on so that's done and right now i just got my powder for the other stuff so that's going to be in the next video you'll see everything put back together there so this is going to be it for this one and um i'm going to start powder coating literally right now i'm not going to finish it but i'm going to do it right now so check out the next one if you want to see what it's gonna look like. And I had wet painted those pipes and I had mentioned I would show you, um, took it for one drive and the heat ruined it. So I powder coated these at work the other day, um, just plain white. Mm -hmm.